Have you lost a finger to your poor knife skills? And who has time for making salsa anymore? Introducing Crank Chop! It's like having 27 little ninjas inside a tiny jar! Crank Chop, for all your cranking and chopping needs. Finally, you can chop while you crank. <laughs> We're gonna try it and tell you if you should buy it. The Crank Chop. Crank it! Bop it! <laughs> Toss it! <laughs> uh, we have the crank chop today, everybody. This... Where did we get this? I think this was sent to me as a Christmas present. Where did we see this? We saw this on... Who was it, Luffy? Adler the Eagle. Adler the Eagle. I love your Adler and Blazin. You guys are amazing. <laughs> did some... Did some crank chopping. And, and, and we, like, we watched it and we realized... We have one of those. <laughs> we haven't filmed it yet. <laughs> so here we are. We're gonna put the crank chop to the test. There's a few bold statements the, the little infomercial makes. We're gonna start with uh, the first one here. Is that you can make salsa in three cranks. So like many of these sort of things, the first thing you have to do is chop it so it fits. <laughs> I was just going to say, it's like, why the fuck is there a knife out right now? <laughs> You're telling me we're going to chop things before it goes Yeah, you got to chop things so that they will fit in the device. Three cranks. Three cranks. Three cranks. All right, ready for this? Why is it three? That's what it says. That's what the infomercial did. So let's see. One, two, three. I can already tell you it didn't. <laughs> like, there's a... There's a big old tomato quadrant looking at me right now, and uh, you might have to go a couple more chops than uh, that. Eat your words, Lofi. That's perfect salsa right there. <laughs> uh, Perfectly chopped salsa. Uh, tell me again <laughs> what perfect salsa looks like. You didn't chop the goddamn tomato at all. Well, I mean, that's three chops, right? Three, three revolutions, right? Okay, that oh. actually doesn't look too bad. Hey, actually, yeah. That looks amazing. That that looks really nice. Okay, it took a couple of extra seconds, a couple of extra pulls. <laughs> Come on, give it a little credit. Ah, oh. actually, I'm a little bit surprised. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this would grind like the bottom quadrant into a slurry, and there would just be large chunks of not cut at all at the top. It so, seemed like you were you were anticipating that. I was anticipating failure. <laughs> That's true. But can you blame me? Have you seen this show before? Yank Chop, test number two. <laughs> so uh, they made a bold claim about chopping ice. We're going to find out how that works. I mean, I know that ice is pretty much the enemy of every blender out there. And it's very hard to get a consistent texture out of ice. <laughs> I mean, there's still huge chunks of ice. There, in there are still some pretty big chunks in there. Let's give it. Yeah. Let's give it a couple more cranks. Yeah. Give it a couple more cranks of the yank. Give another. Give it a couple of bigger guns in the game. Like if, like if you're making a sort of um, hipster bar style margarita where you have ice like this, and then you just pour tequila in that and a little bit of lime juice. I think that might work. You get a little bit of the mix, a little bit of tequila, margarita. Needs more mix, but it's not bad. The final test, whole bean coffee. Grinding coffee is quite a chore. You can't even like do that in a blender. You gotta get a special device to do that. I got a coffee grinder at home. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's a coffee grinder. So imagine, if you could just crank out some coffee. What, I mean, with mine, I push a button. <laughs> <laughs> like, no cranking necessary. I, I just push the button. Yeah, and look at those forearms. Those yeah. lazy forearms of yours. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Three kink. Three kink? Tell three, me about these kanks. Three kank coffee. Okay. 
<laughs> Let's go three more. It's it's happening. It's not a huge investment. If you are out camping and you need some coffee grounds, that's going to do the job. All right, Shank Chop. You made us a margarita. You made some some salsa. You even ground coffee beans. This is your punishment. We have rocks. <laughs> you didn't deserve this, Crank Chop. <laughs> Get a good shot. There might be sparks. Ah. Oh. There's a little bit of ground rock inside of there. Oh my god. Not only can you make salsa and margaritas, but you can polish your rocks at home. Make your own concrete <laughs> dust. <laughs> All right. And then the real test. Can it still? No! Chop that. Yep. Can it go. still chop a tomato? Can you at can least rinse it out oh. first? No. Nope. Oh god. I don't want to eat this tomato. Tomato concrete, everybody. <laughs> Aw, oh, what did you do? What did you do? Aw, oh, what did you do? We finally defeated the crank chop! Oh. No! 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 <laughs> I squirted out of the crack on the side! <laughs> it still works. It still works! It defied your will, Pink. And look, now you have tomato puree. On this episode of Try and Buy It, we tried the crank chop. Should you buy it? Yes! God yeah. damn it! It chopped rocks and then it's tomato. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> the thing fucking works. <laughs> <sighs> Shit. Vince, you win this round. Mm. Does he really? Isn't he still in jail? Probably. <laughs> Probably. But what are you going to do? <laughs> All right. <laughs> we tried the crank chop. You saw it. It's fucking good. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Adler. Thanks for the, uh, yeah, thanks for the, You're amazing. the inspiration, yeah. Adler. Um, go check out, what's it called again? Adler the Eagle. Adler the Eagle. There will be a link in the description. Please you can check it out. Buy his t-shirt. Go check out Lofi on twitch.tv slash Lofi Molasses. Go check out our social deets down below. Go check out the crank shop so you can make some salsa. Mm-hmm. Thanks for watching.